Ashina, so you're going to show us some glutes exercise today? Yeah, some glute exercises. Um, so what I've been doing in this kind of off-season-ish time that I've had since my shows in October last year is really working on filling out my glutes. Um, genetically, I don't have big glutes, so I've had to work overtime for the short amount of time that I've actually been lifting weights to really try and fill them out. Glutes are a big muscle, so they take a lot of time to grow. So just had to make sure I'm doing everything right to grow them as fast as I can. Um, so I like to do my thrusters often on the leg curl machine because what that does is allows you to just focus on pushing right into that full flexion of the hip. You don't have to worry about the line of the bar if you're using a barbell. It's also um, a bit more comfortable on here because it's padded um, so it doesn't annihilate your hips quite as much. Um, it allows you to go a bit heavier and you don't have to worry about you know stability or anything like that. You just, just focus on pushing and really driving up your hips. Alright, so we're here on the hip abductor machine. Um, with my glute training, what I've been working on as a focus is um, on my glute medius, really filling out the outer of the glutes um, to make them pop out. Um, and so the abduction as a, as a movement pattern, that's what's going to really recruit uh, through the glute medius. So I've been doing a lot of abduction, and this machine's really good um, because similar to the last exercise we did, you can really just focus on pushing and you can actually take the weight up and um, just shift a decent amount of weight. So what I'm going to do here is a reverse hack squat and I'm going to superset that with squat jumps. Um, so I really like this exercise uh, because it allows me to uh, really get that full hip flexion even right through to almost hyperextension uh, through the hips to really use my glutes. Um, and as I was saying off camera earlier, what I want to try and actually do with this one is to um, start using resistance bands to add another dimension to this exercise because I think it would be really valuable um, to you know, going down to the squat and then when you come forward, if you had a resistance band pulling you backward, um, then not only are you using your glutes to drive through into that full extension here, but what you're doing as well is pushing against resistance from behind you, so you're effectively incorporating a thruster movement into the squat. Um, and I think that would, it would hurt a lot, it would be good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to get back to you on that once I work out how to do it. We can't do it here with the mirrors, um, but one day we'll do it. Um, so we're going to do, yeah, the reverse hat squat, superset that with um, jump squats to really smash these legs. All right, all right. the squat press is what I call the triple set. Um, so it's like a super set but you've got three exercises. Alright, so the first um, foot position we're going to do um, is up high and wide. Toes are turned out about 45 degrees. The weights and the heels. Knees are going to follow the line of the center of my foot. I'm going to come as deep as I can. I'm not going to lock my knees out at the top so I'm going to keep them soft at the top. Pump out the roots relatively quickly. Lots of control. So that's foot starts one, foot starts two, coming parallel. Again, the knee's got to follow the line of the center of your foot so that you're not loading pressure into your knee. Weight's still in your heels and that's going to drive the work right through the back of your legs. Coming as deep as you can. 
This one I find it's most tempting watching my clients do it to have their butt lifting off, but you want to really make sure it stays down. And you can really feel the difference. This one is right through the back of my legs, whereas the wider stance is more through the outer. I love the name of that one. What's it called? <laughs> this is the ballerina stance. Draws a bit on my sporting background. Um, so you've got your heels together and your toes turned out. And again, really important that your knee follows the line of the center of your foot. So your knees are soft at the top. Coming down into a plie. Keeping your feet, uh, your bum, sorry, down on the seat. Pushing up through your heels again here. If you don't have good turn up from your hips here, it's quite hard. Mm. to have your knees coming too wide so if you're struggling with that all you do would be bring your feet in more so that your knees don't have to go as wide and then you can still safely do it with your knee following the line of the center of your foot but you're just basically making the movement more close off oh that must be 20. all right guys we just wrapped up a killer butt workout, glutes workout with Wachina and uh, it was a good one today and, and again thank you so much for doing that because you just did that yesterday and you were a trooper man, you went all out and <laughs> just to uh, show uh, your fans uh, what it's like to uh, you know, improve their glutes and everything. So talk to me a little bit about what's, what's been going on Sheena and um, your website, your, 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 your ventures, all that stuff, your competition, you got some competitions coming up so what is going on with you? Yeah, um, so I last competed um, in October last year and the last show I did was the Fort Lauderdale Cup um, and I came fourth in that which was really cool um, and I've had a bit of a break since then, just been working on um, growing my butt, it's been my main venture um, over the last um, few months. I've recently signed with Bombshell which is really exciting so um, yeah lots of stuff happening there um, and I've been invited to compete in the Arnold Classic Australia so um, I'm doing the pro bikini there. Um, my plan was originally to do um, pro bikini at the New Zealand show um, and then I would follow up with pro bikini at the Arnold Classic Australia but this year um, our New Zealand president Mo has decided to do pro figure instead of holding pro bikini. Oh I see. Because um, uh, he wants to promote pro figure a little bit more to increase the popularity of figure in New Zealand because mm -hmm. bikini is already going off at home. Um, so he's doing pro figure and I'm left with just the Arnold Classic Australia so I've actually decided um, and I haven't actually um, told anyone about this yet, you're the first to know. So Scoop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to be competing at the Orlando Pro Bikini in Florida um, before I go and do the Arnold Classic Australia which is really cool because that's where Bombshell is based. Yeah. Um, so I also get to go to the Bombshell headquarters um, and catch up with Shannon and Jen and um, the rest of the bombshell crew there which will be really cool um, and then I'll go straight back to um, Melbourne to do the Arnold Classic Australia which is a really exciting show as well. So how many weeks are you from the first show? Right uh, four weeks. Four weeks, okay. Yeah, four weeks out from the first show. And then five weeks from the second one? It's like yeah. a week apart? Wow. Yeah, a week apart, yeah. Wow. So it's a bit of a mission but I really like to do more than one show when I'm prepping. Um, mm -hmm. I mean where I can. Right. Um, it's, it's good to do more than one show and the Arnold Classic Australia is a huge lineup. Oh I'm sure. Um, invitation only with lots of the best in the world so it's cool to be able to do another show before that as well and um, doing all this hard work with um, prep it's yeah. Of course. It's cool to be able to do too. Wow so this yeah. how many how many years that as a pro for you? Um, I turned pro in March 2014 so. So that's fairly your new yeah, new pretty, one you know new rookie. kid on the block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. But you've been coming, you know, with Kirk more and more, you know, to California and then train at Gold's Venice and stuff. It's nice to see you guys more often. Yeah. Um, you know, it's at least it, we're really happy to have you here and, and get some 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 you know training with Charles and just kind of it's kind of kind of like going to university a couple times a year <laughs> for is, you guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we we came on this trip. Um, now we found cheap flights and we thought, hey, that's a really good opportunity to go back to Gold's. Um, Kurt's worked with Charles a lot before, so he wanted yeah. to get some training with Charles. Um, and we love being here amongst the atmosphere at Gold's, so it's really cool um, just to have a week to really focus on our prep and just train hard and 
get some motivation. Yeah, of course, oh, right? Absolutely, it's yeah. Oh, it's, there's nothing that compares to training at Gold. So you guys really were so cool. nice to let me know too. I really <laughs> appreciate. It. This is what great. This is what's great about social media. You know, when you guys decide to come, you're like, hey, I'm gonna be here next month. So <laughs> I was aware. So I was I was really uh, you know honored that you guys would let me know in advance. But talk to me about your business. Also, you're very very busy as a, as a personal trainer over there. And uh, because you were an attorney before a lawyer, you were telling me off camera. <laughs> I have a tendency to over explain everything, and I told you this is great. This is something yeah. that. You know, I think personal trainers should be doing more because they really you take the time to not only pass along all the knowledge you have to your to your clients. So talk to me about that. Yeah, I mean, you said that I explain everything a lot, and I I almost sort of didn't really realize that I do. Um, I love that. But yeah, I mean, I guess that probably is a little bit to do with my background as a lawyer. I also, I know, girls love details. You know, so yeah. a lot of my clients, well, actually all of my clients currently that I train are girls. A lot of them are around my kind of age a lot of them are aspiring to compete in a bikini competition yeah i also work with people who just want to look hot for their wedding and that's cool too um but yeah i mean i know that girls in particular love to know why they're doing something and why would i do it this way rather than this way and you know how is that going to benefit me and why do i do it with my weight and my heels instead of my toes or whatever and yeah. i think it's really important for people to understand the why as well as just you know, telling them to do something because they're going to get this result. So I mean, I agree. Yeah, I do explain things a lot. Um, Talk to me about your website. You you have a new website you're working on? Yeah, I'm, I've got a current website, but what I'm doing um, is I want to shift my business um, a whole lot more online. So I've got um, my current website, shanajanefitness.com, um, and that's where I run all of my um, personalized packages, training, nutrition, competition prep. Um, all of that from and I'm actually working on upgrading my website at the moment so I'm going to start um, running a blog uh, which is going to go through my website and also um, want to work on getting a YouTube channel happening so that I can do lots more training footage um, like what I've done with you today because yeah. I, I kind of see from social media that you know people want they want more detail and if I have a blog then I can write in more detail about um, different exercises as well as sort of you know um, supplements that I'm using or whatever it is um, just a bit more detail than what you can put on Instagram and on and Facebook yes um, and also I can see from social media that people love videos they love to actually be able to see you doing something and I think it's a lot more personal if you yep. you see someone talking rather than just reading what they've written you know you totally kind of get to know someone a bit better um, so I want to yeah work on getting more video footage happening and so that's why I want to work on um, a YouTube channel as well. So that's what's in the pipeline for me. You have a lot going on. Yeah. You have a lot going mm -hmm. on. Very exciting. Well, Sheena, I just want to say thank you for, for coming to, to California and to coming to Gold's. Let us get some footage of you and Kurt. And good, best of luck at your shows. And then uh, I hope to see you uh, back, back soon here uh, very soon again. We will be back, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sheena. Thank you.